Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Galaxy Tab 4 7.0. Now first we're just going to select our language and then hit next. Then we are going to find a local Wi-Fi connection. You do always want to set this up uh, when you are in uh, Wi-Fi range that you know, simply for the fact that uh, you don't want to not load everything that you had on your last device. This will allow you to do it, but only if you're in a Wi-Fi location. So you want to make sure you do that. And then we're connecting to the Wi-Fi connection. And now that we are connected, we're going to go next. And we're going to make sure our date and time is correct, which it should auto update over the network as it just did. And then you're just going to hit yes for everything else you can't really go anywhere. And now you're going to send into your Gmail account. Now to have this tablet, you will need a Gmail account. So if you don't have one already, well then just simply create one and that's all there is to it. Uh, so if you don't have one, just uh, hit no and then create one. I do have one, so I'm going to sign into mine. But uh, the reason you need a Gmail account is so that you can buy apps and uh, you can use uh, the various features of the tablet. So you will need to have one of these. and then you will be signing in. And then we're going to hit next. And that is my name, so I'm just gonna hit next. Then we're going to be asked about our Samsung account. Why do you want a Samsung account? Well, this will allow you to update the Samsung app. So on this tablet, since it is a Google and Samsung device, Samsung has a sign-in and Google has a sign-in. The main thing is if you're going to be using these Samsung apps, you want to sign into your account or create an account. What I recommend though is if you do create an account for Samsung, use your same Gmail and password that you just previously used. Because when you create an account, as you'll see, you can actually use whichever email uh, you want. So you can create your, you can use your same Gmail account you just created, and then your password you just used for Gmail. That way you don't have to worry about, oh, I don't remember what my uh, username and password was. So I will do that now and sign into mine. And then once I sign in, I will be able to access everything on here as well. Having a little bit of trouble with the sign in here, just take a little bit of time. If it fails again, we'll just skip this and move on. But that's all you would do to uh, set up your Samsung account. Yep, it's failed again. So. Try one more sign in, and if that doesn't work, then we will skip ahead. As you can see, though, this can happen from time to time.
And it looks like it failed again. So we're just gonna hit skip. And you can always do that later. Now for this part is nice because you do get 50 gigs of free Dropbox storage as um, long as you create an account or sign into your account. So this is something else you want to sign into. I will skip this for now. But it's just nice that you have that. And then you want to name your device whatever you want. What this is good for is basically if you connect uh, through Wi-Fi Direct or through Bluetooth uh, to different devices, this will allow you to recognize which one this one is. So we're gonna call this one Android Guy. And then tab, oops. Tab four, seven, oops. As you can see, sometimes this can be a bit annoying with their autocorrect. Once uh, you learn it, which I'll show you how to do later, it's much better. Tab four, seven point oh, done. And then it has finished signing in. All right, guys, if you guys have any other questions about this device, please feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.